So Chris and I are here at Ultra Day 2. Um, we were the first ones to come in because everyone else is doing bottomless mimosas. Others are already inside. We just got we just took long getting ready, but it's almost 3 p.m. or is it 3 p.m. and we are getting ready to see some of the biggest DJs today. So we're super excited. Yay! And we'll explore a lot today. So this was the worldwide stage and basically majority of the trance and bass music was hosted here which is pretty cool. It looks really nice. Over here is the resistance megastructure stage. I honestly thought this was pro uh, probably one of the most best set up stages here in Ultra. Majority of the times you hear techno style music, a little bit of house but this was awesome. Like look at that. Even at EDC I don't see this. Next, we have the live stage, and basically you'll see DJs with performances either using drums and guitars playing here. And it was nice, this amphitheater just had so many seats. Here is the resistance stage, and it was so nice. You just see the nice, beautiful ocean. Obviously, it's really hot in this stage because there's no shade, but still beautiful views. I really appreciate Ultra because there was food vendors everywhere so if you're hungry you can just grab a snack as well as oh my gosh there was a Shein booth that was freaking awesome it was so nice in there look at me trying to be cute but it was so cool there was things to do you can get your hair done there's a 3D photo booth that was just so fun and there's a little DJ performance as well It was so hot in Ultra, I'm glad they had these fan mist stations because honestly, it really cooled you in the heat. Oh my gosh, look at me. I was sweating every day during the day. Crazy. I appreciate how they had water stations, although there was only two. So once it got busy, there was a long line. So I suggest to go get your waters early and more food and vendors. And there's a big Ultra merch store. You can't miss it, but you can buy gum, candy, merch from uh, DJs. So here's the ultra main stage and damn the production value is actually insane here you have a lot more seats over the back there and then the vip is just over to the right but this is when it's not full so when it's full here it's so packed at the main stage next we have the umf radio stage there's a bunch of hard style house a little bit of everything and a lot of hill sitting space so if you're tired you can rest here the last stage they have is the Oasis stage. I thought this was really nice. It was truly the Oasis near the beach. And you can just chill in hammocks, have a fun time with music, and overall have fun with the crowd. This was probably one of the coolest and my favorite stages here just because it was just, it felt like home. It was just the vibe.
I'm really excited because my, the, the, because the Swedish House Mafia is closing and they're literally my all-time favorite DJs who made me fall fall in love with EDM. So I'm so I'm really excited to see them and again. So. But yeah, I'm super excited and I'm getting to see I get to see Dimension today, so I'm really excited. As well.
everybody we are back in miami airport and i totally forgot to end the vlog but day one day two day three ultra finally ended it's gonna be a crazy time creating this video and it's gonna be a lot of fun seeing all my friends reactions and silly things that happen during ultra while editing this video so i'm super excited to just edit it but anyways i'll see you guys in the next adventure bye she says she the one, I bet she thinks she is Stand on high, no trust, I don't know where you been